<laughs> that was really dark for a second. Wah, wah. This is going to be really brief. Uh, I stayed up super late last night working for TCM, aka my job, live tweeting war movies. And uh, the second one, the one that was till 2 in the morning, was The Longest Day, which is one of my all-time favorite films. And um, I love that film so much. It was a little difficult to stay up that late, but it was so much fun because that movie is so good. Um, but prior to that, uh, so they're both three hours long, these two movies that I watched last night. The other one was Battle of the Bulge from 1965. Never seen it before. I gotta say, I didn't think it was that great. It was really hard to keep going because um, it's not a very good film. It has a great, great cast. It's Henry Fonda, Robert Shaw. Robert Shaw and Henry Fonda were great. And Telly Zavallis was great. The three of them, great. Robert Ryan didn't get much to do. Dana Andrews had a terrible mustache and really just, oh, it was bad. And then Charles Bronson, being Charles Bronson, basically. It's directed by Ken Anakin. It was shot in Spain, so it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like anything like Belgium, where the Battle of the Bulge was. Um, it was bloated. It was just, it was three hours long, and it was like two-thirds of the movie could have been just chucked unnecessary. Um, it had a great score by Benjamin Frankel, though, and it was beautifully shot by Jack um, Hildyard. But other than that, it was kind of a, sh a slog and a mess. Um, and I definitely recommend, if you are interested in a film about the Battle of the Bulge, that you watch Battleground. It's from 1949. Um, can't remember who directed it off the top of my head, but it has John Hodiak in it, and... Um, it is a much better, much more accurate depiction of the Battle of the Bulge. Um, not bloated, very concise, very sharp. Um, superb film. Battle of the Bulge. A bulging mess of a film. Um, if you are watching TCM throughout Memorial Day weekend, as we always show, it's per tradition, showing tons and tons and tons of uh, war films, we will be live tweeting throughout the weekend uh, my co-worker Nora Lill will be doing um, Bridge on the River Kwai and A Bridge Too Far tonight. And then I will be jumping back in tomorrow night at 10.15 uh, p.m. to do so Sunday night to do The Best Years of Our Lives, which I love but have not seen in a long time. Um, and then at 3.30 in the morning on Monday, because I'm a crazy person, I'm going to be live tweeting The Big Parade, which will mostly just be me sobbing and talking about John Gilbert's face. Um, it's such a beautiful film. Uh, King Vidor, all the hearts. That's a half of a heart. The other half of the heart is being held, um, me holding this computer on my lap. Um, so join us for that. Uh, and then Norlil is going to end the weekend with um, a Clint Eastwood double feature of Kelly's Heroes and um, Where Eagles Dare. I think it's Where Eagles Dare and then Kelly's Heroes. Anyway, it's going to be a great weekend. Um, that was the Battle of the Bulge. I definitely recommend Battleground instead, um, and I will see you later.